Alright, we back with the next one. Episode 3. The 2K crossover with your boy Bruno Sim on the scene. Jay and all city, man. I, man, introduce yourself, man. I introduce no grown ass man. It's time <laughs> you, Jay. Man, y'all should this three. I thought this was four. Did this you ain't come four? Up, huh? Did you- did you no. come up with a new thing? Is this still fresh from the barbershop for this episode too? It might be no, four. I, 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 think it, I think it's four. But All right. I'm still fresh from the barbershop. I don't care. There you go. Yeah. There you go. It don't matter. I just wanted to. I just wanted to highlight. When it. was the last I'm time you seen inside a barbershop, bro? I am hoping you don't even carry is, your son to the barbershop, bro. I'm hoping your son that got longer dress than four. yours and way more luxurious, by the way. But yo, I, I th- told him that today, and he was like, "Yeah, I, like, bro, leave me, leave." Like you saw, like we watching the video, and he he checked the video out on TikTok. Dang, it was a hell luxurious. Like, come on, man, Lee, Lee just just stop. This was a shot at me. Crazy. You would think he was complimenting the kid, but he was taking a shot at my hair because he want to ask me how his hair is luxurious and yours is not. But it's all good. Anyway, I'm definitely still fresh from the barbershop. This is episode four. Take that down. This is a rare moment where Brute was wrong about something. Write it down. Take a picture. I it doesn't it was, happen. Hmm. It doesn't happen. What often, happened? But it's episode what happened? Huh? What? what are you talking about? <laughs> Wrong. <laughs> is it the fourth episode? I, it, uh, it, it me. <laughs> exactly. It's three point five. Three point five. Yeah, we did a lot. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. You're absolutely right. So yeah, we'll say three point five. One of them was a lie. I know. What are you talking about? <laughs> All right. I'm never wrong. <laughs> never wrong. <laughs> Oh man, yes, over, yes, city. over to you, take it away. Yes, sir. All city in the building. You already know what it is. Thank you for tuning in to the 2K crossover. Let's get it. Woo! Bro. I ain't gonna start off with all the heat now, man. I just wanna yeah. up this out because all city be going with that no VC spent grind. I respect it. I ain't gonna front with y'all. He got more patience than me. But it right. seemed like it's not as bad as we think this year, man. So City, what you think about that no VC grind so far? Hey, listen, I know there's going to be a tough pill to swallow for a lot mm-hmm. of folks, especially with these shooting woes and all this stuff that's going on in the community. But I don't see it, man. You know, one of the goals going no money spent this year and one of the things that I thought I was going to see was these aggressive pay to win mechanics. Right. This is what we've been preaching for years, right? 2K yep. has these pay to win mechanics that um, don't allow you to play without boost, without Gatorade. Now, I don't know if things have changed for 2K24, but right now, no boost, no Gatorade, and I'm out there feeling like one, maybe not the most dominant player, but if I compared my player from 2K23 to 2K24, there's very little difference. I'm out there shooting, yeah. I feel good, and I'm getting better with each day. That could be because I have a closer relationship with my build. Could very Ooh. well be that. I only got one build because I'm going no money spent. Oh, but, right, 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 right. Mm-hmm. No money spent. I could tell you, uh, I'm just having a great experience. The fun is back for me. I'm losing track of time. I, the hours just passed. This is what 2K used to mean to me. Right. And now I got that back. It could be all due to no money spent, y'all. Now you think, do you think you're spending more time on it because you're, you know, it's more time because you're actually pressing toward a goal and you're really trying to get there? Or do you think it's just because the game is more fun and it's just more inviting? Or do you think it's a combination of both? Well, the way I see it, you know, I brought my player out initially at 63 overall, 62, 63, and I brought him online. Right. One of my goals, because everybody that I run with, they spend money on their bills, they spend money on boosts and Gatorade. So I definitely didn't want to be a liability. You get what I'm saying? So initially I was in my career and, and trying to get right. Because of that, I think I developed that closer relationship with my build, so I'm paying closer attention to my animations and everything I can do, and it's a methodical process, as opposed to my experience in previous years where I bring the build right out, and I'm... It's almost like, for me, I feel like I should know this stuff already. Right. Nah, I didn't take that for granted. So now, do you think you were cheating yourself, or if you bought, you would be cheating yourself? That's the best way to... That process of learning like everything about your build. Instead, you buy your way and then you kind of shortcut, but you don't really learn it because yeah. you're fast forwarding 
you know, the expectations are so much higher. Yes. When yeah. you when you buy your build, you put those attributes up, yeah. your expectations are super high. And then right. not to mention the additional pressure of folks trying to say, ah, you miss him. What's your three ball? Initially, you know, ASAP. They're like, what's your three ball, bro? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so uh, going yeah. through the initial process, I think like Brute had just mentioned, I feel like I have been cheating myself over the last few years. 2K24 could be just yeah. a very different game overall, but right. the experience I'm having now is night and day. Yeah. From like I'm not deleting the game this year. Oh, right. right. 21, 22, 23, all got deleted. 24, right. I could tell you off rip, I'm not deleting the game, bro. I'm having too much fun. Yeah. That's where I'm at. I have so to give game. 2K props, man. Mm -hmm. I gotta give 2K props. So my experience have been similar because you all know me. I don't like to play with boost anyways because I'm frugal. That's the main thing. I'm frugal. Right. Okay. Yeah. That's just it. Simple. And just I've been one of the few people that have been complaining about boost being in the game in general. And to be honest with you all, I think years of complaining, they are listening. Mm. Right. They are listening. So you think boost has a less of an impact this year? Yes. Gotcha. So you, there's a noticeable difference for you it is. playing without boost than it yes. was last year. Because I know you did no boost I, last yeah, year. Exactly. No, I did it last year. And I'm telling you, boy, oof. Shooting was, was where it tends to really shine the most. Like you really mm. stand out when it comes to shooting the most. Because shooting, you definitely shoot more. Everything else you could make up. Like you could make up the playmaking. You could make up the rebounds. You make up everything else with the boost. But shooting is that thing you need to be consistent, right? And you right. don't want to be a liability. But yeah, I've seen a difference overall. Look at that. You know, just, you know so I, your recommendation for 2K24, you can. It's a possibility you could you run. play without boost. Yes, you could run with no and, boost. Mm, you could. You could. Yeah. I feel the now, same way, yeah. If you're a little ass point guard and all you rely right. on is to speed boost and shoot threes and three right. hunts, you probably don't want to do that. <laughs> okay. right. That's right. That's right. Yeah, I all get right. that. Jay, will you ever think about going no boost? I don't and no I, Gatorade. Um, what are we talking? Well, I don't. I don't use Gatorade at all because I don't dribble. But um, <laughs> and if I dribbled, it was a mistake. Yeah. And and that, and that was your mistake because you passed me the ball when <laughs> when I wasn't in scoring position. So well, you could pass it I mean, back though. Huh? Huh? How would I, huh? How would I do that? Oh, you know, I, went, I went to Big Mac School <laughs> of Scoring. You think I'm passing the ball back? <laughs> Uh, Man, you, I, 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 I'm a, I'm the first graduate. I'm, I got the, I got my diploma right here, Big Mac School of, of, of getting buckets. We don't pass the oh, ball, baby. So, so, so it's your fault for passing it to me. So I don't <laughs> dribble. If I dribble, I probably took that one dribble and went to the rim. But uh, so I never use Gatorade, yeah. and the only boost I ever use is a shooting boost, just because. No, keep using it. That's yeah. I need yeah, to hit exactly. my shots. Exactly. Because, yeah, because, because you again. I need to hit my shots. I need to hit my shots. Yeah, if I'm missing and you like, you got on, Jay, what's your, that's the same bill? Yeah. What's your three-pointer? It's Folks still start asking questions. What's your social? You got, yeah, you got, you, you got boost? You got boost? No. Uh, go, go put some boost on when you yeah. play with me, man. But that's yeah, the only one. Only one I pop. use. Yeah, only one I ever use is uh, shooting boost. And that's yeah. just, like I said, that's the one that you can't make up for. Everything else, rebound, knocking box out, uh, steals, yeah. and whatever. I don't really need them. All the other stuff I can make up for, but the shooting boost. That's the only one that I use. And a lot of times when I run out of shooting boost, yeah. I just go play a bunch of park, not park games, the uh, street ball games, because mm -hmm. it's real quick and it's 300 VC. So I go play 10, 20 of those real quick, and then I'll buy I buy my boost off of that. All right. So, mm -hmm. I mean, shout out to 2K, man. We got to start the compliments because before we start the controversy. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, that's facts. Yo, 2K <laughs> drop one of the biggest patch I've seen in years. It was like around 17 gigs, I think, on Xbox yeah, and 11 one, gigs yeah. eleven gigs on PlayStation, right? Definitely, especially since we moved to next gen. Usually the patch is around 3 gigs or so. But this right. big game changing. And the question I have is, to start it off, before we get into the details, were we beta testing NBA 2K24? Because this patch yes. changed the way how everything looked, how it felt. The game just looked cleaner. When you go into the wreck, it's like they got yeah. to pay someone extra to polish the floors and shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, huh? mm -hmm. So we're going to start off here. I'm going to start off with you, Jay. Mm -hmm. you I, think, think? Uh, I think that we were beta testing it. I ain't going to lie to you. And um, it's not necessarily a bad thing, I guess, except for the fact that we paid two beta testers. Now, if we were paid beta testers, I wouldn't have cared. 
but we paid to beta test it. Mm. So that's that's my issue with it. Um, I'm one of those people also that feels like it doesn't matter. The ends does not always justify the means, but I don't mind so much what we have to go through as long as we get it right in a reasonable amount of time. So, you know, for the first month, the game, like I said, the first three days, game was immaculate. The second, the, you know, that first patch changed yeah, everything. Really and then, really then this patch changed everything. It's a totally different game than it was last week when I said that, you know, we weren't playing the same game that yeah. we were playing the first three days. We certainly aren't playing the same game now. But this one is still fun. Um, I'm still having fun with the game. A, a lot of the issues that everybody, like sometimes you have to block out the noise because you hear everybody else talking and, yeah. and beating it down. So it, it makes you start paying attention to the stuff that didn't matter to you in the first place. And then you start complaining. I, I don't care. But don't care. it's, it's just like, all the crying. Yeah, I don't me, care. I don't care. Yeah. To me, to me, it's not a big deal, man. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm enjoying the game, but I, but I will say this, like I was telling you earlier, yeah. I think that all my issues with the game is because I just been going so hard and I'm just burnt out at oh, this mean, point or I'm, I'm close to burning out because I've been playing so much yeah. doing content mm. everything so that might be that's why I'm, I'm starting to feel a little edgy yeah that's fair but that's fair we're gonna get on Call of Duty this weekend yeah. the open beta <laughs> and we're gonna come back after the weekend it's probably gonna be you know what I mean it's, it's gonna be just like a new game so All right. um, I'm cool alright CD what do you think we will be be the testing or not uh I mean, for me, it was a different experience because, uh-huh. you know, the first few days I was in my career offline. Oh, so yeah, I didn't get that's true. You know what I'm that's true. I didn't, I didn't see none of what y'all talking about. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. And then, not only that, when I'm coming, like when I'm actually bringing my player out, when I get him to 63, I'm not trying to do the most. I'm trying yeah, to do yeah. as little as possible. Yeah. So I sit in the corner, wait for my point guard to set up yeah. the open shot, and then I right, try right, and take right, it. Right, right, right. So I spent my first couple weeks in that type of slow motion mm-hmm. methodical gameplay and um that has wow. changed drastically with the game that we have now because now my players are 95 overall and a lot of you guys a lot of you guys that are watching probably got dropped off by my player no uh, excuse me no, no boost that, no gatorade sorry to, and i'm not sorry an arrogant player city. sorry to cut you city mm-hmm. that raises mm-hmm. probably a next problem of all mm-hmm. just buying the game and going out there too early Mm. Right. Like a lot of us just fast forward it and just run out there <laughs> for real because you got a huge advantage now that you ain't experienced a lot of the nonsense yeah, that, <laughs> that, that, you know what I mean? So sorry to cut you off, man. Cut you off. No, <laughs> no. It's, it's facts what you're saying, bro. Because, all right. So I'll give you guys now. I, I sympathize with the struggles that a lot of players are having with shooting, right? Right. But. Prior three to four days prior to the patch, every game was going 50, 60 percent, probably higher. Even mm. uh, there's three to four days prior to the patch. Then yeah. after the patch, I ended up going through the struggle just like, yeah, but the struggle lasted a couple hours. Yes, it was a, it's something changed, but I was able to adjust because of that close relationship yeah. I have with my player where I'm looking at, I, you know, I don't have the luxury of, of just she, switching a build. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't have right. that luxury. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. You got that so one bill. You got one bill. Yeah. yeah so I, I'm completely honed in on my uh, shot timing visual cue, and I got to tell you guys, if you're struggling with shooting, uh, just like I was struggling right after the patch for a couple hours, if you really just humble yourself, I listen. I know a lot of us are veterans in the game. I get that. We're veterans. We think that we know this game like the back of our hand. The fact is, 2K24 is a different game. And after I the need patch, a shot it's fire even, song effect. Yeah, there you go, man. Yeah, there you go. So, so if we just kind of like humble ourselves, minimize our ego just a slight bit, and say, "All right, I'm a veteran of playing." I've personally been playing the game since. The very first release on Dreamcast. Mm-hmm. If right. anybody's supposed yeah. to be arrogant with what they know about 2K, is me, Jay Easy Brew. Trust me, I'll be. I'm there. not. So I say, humble myself. I put my team in front of me, and I let them lead the way, and I get in where I fit in. And going through that process, all the players around me have learned that yo, you got a really good build out there. You're going crazy. So now they, now I'm leading the way. Now I'm there mm-hmm. helping to lead the way. Uh, so that's been my experience. All right, all right, but mm-hmm. I, I ain't gonna throw you all that sound good and well. But the patch came along with a lot of problems, <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. And I know, although you you know, you didn't get to see everything that happened early, 
we all experience a few of these problems. Me! Mm. These palm trees, man. These palm trees. Yo, I'm, <laughs> I'm in the Caribbean, man. I'm already, like, I got coconut trees in my backyard and stuff. I don't need it in 2K in the wreck in a building. Okay. Now, I was really frustrated because I think 2K should have people testing multiple camera angles before they do something like this. Right. Agreed. So that was my biggest frustration. Of course, the bad glitch situation is there as well. And as you, you know, mentioned, just touched on was a bunch of shooting changes. A lot of people are complaining about it, man. So what have mm -hmm. y'all experience been so far after the patch? Jay, you, you can lead off. Mm -hmm. Um like I said, I, 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 I've been shooting fifty plus the whole time. My biggest aggravation is like mm -hmm. I, I'm already expected to have to adjust my this is just a 2k thing I expect to adjust certain things after every patch mm -hmm. I feel like they're gonna break my jump shot after every patch that's how I've always mm -hmm. approached it Damn. I'm either gonna have to relearn it I'm talking about since 2k 16 I felt like that so I ain't this is not nothing new to me so I felt like after every patch we got to go back relearn things look at it and, and it's almost a different game so uh -huh. with that being the case I always go back and just be like, okay, well, they did just patch it. Let me figure this out. But just like City said, like, for me, that lasted a, a couple of games. I took a couple of shots, and I was like, okay, I don't like what like the way this shot is feeling. I'm hitting them, but I can't hit this version of the shot, which is the fast one. I get the slow. You know, you got three timers on each shot, it seems like. So you got the regular timing, fast timing, and the slow timing. I can never mm -hmm. hit the fast one. So I went and made a shot where I could hit the fast one. And then I just I just adjusted. Uh -huh. uh, mm. I just adjusted to it. So, I mean, that don't, that don't mean that I like it, but I think I found some secret sauce in there, you know, by going through this that has helped me along the way, which I will be sharing in a later video. Link down in the description. What's your three ball, by the way? Eighty five. Eighty five. All right. Cool. Yeah, I ain't got no. I ain't got no high three ball. <laughs> but it is. I guess that's high. Is that high? I don't know. I know. But well, what about the bad two K twenty four is high. What about the bad glitch thing? The bad glitch. You, the bad glitch. Have you been affected by the bad glitch situation? Because they, is, I ain't gonna lie, it was a lot of fear it, going on, like a <laughs> fear mongering going on in the Tuki community. People telling you, "Yo, don't play online. If anybody quit out, your mm -hmm. badges go to bronze." It was yeah. scary. It's, it's very possible that I experienced it, but. Again, as the president of the badge regression and, you know, appreciation association, I feel like I, I never looked at, I, I never looked, I never <laughs> looked at the badges. I just never looked at, I never yeah. looked at my badges. I never looked at anything. So they could have very well gone to bronze. But I feel like in this yeah. 2K, more than any other 2K, badges enhance your ability more, I mean, instead of unlocking the ability to do something. I'm glad you mentioned that, man. You, you know this what I'm saying? Pack, so yep. so I, mm -hmm. I never really looked at my badges. I, okay. I didn't look at them. So, but we did make some people quit out in the wreck. And I mean, maybe oh. they did go back to bronze, but yeah. I didn't pay attention. City, what do you think? I feel very similar to, to Jay, man. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I played the whole year the same way since 2K24 release. I don't pay attention to my badges. I just go out there. I'm more so focused on my attributes, getting my attributes mm -hmm. up. Uh, and, and I get my attributes up. I go out there, have fun. And I notice with each increase of my attributes that I'm able to do more out there. But it, like uh, Jay said, it seems like this year, badges don't unlock particular abilities for you to do more out there. Your player is going to be able to do well what whatever level of badges you have on. Not, now, I know a lot of you guys may be in disagreement. Like, if you're running the one yeah. and you're, like, one of those aggressive shooters out there, you're going to need particular badges, Blinders, Hall of Fame, and things like that, Limitless. We get that. But for my role, similar to Jay's right. role, a spot-up shooter, whether you're at the hash or the corner, you wait for your call on a cut, things like that, you don't need to pay attention. You don't need to invest so much energy into maxing out this badge or that badge. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The way that the ones that I use the most are the ones that are just there for me. And, the, and I put so much immunity. And so I, yeah. I actually feel like I did my stuff the right way. So right. I floor set the ones that I want. Yes, indeed. And then, and then I put, you know, I put the accelerator on some and immunity on the ones that I'm not going to use. Mm -hmm. And scholar, I think I feel, I feel like I, I use that really yeah. the right way to where I don't have to worry about it so much. But you do have to go unlock those. And you can play some street ball, get yourself some yeah. VC, unlock all this stuff, man. 
Well, I, yeah. I saw a few theories when it comes to um, certain things with these patches, right? Like someone had a theory that they think that the devs to combat the Zens because a lot of Zen conversation and cheating mm. has been going on. May yeah. actually add some more when it comes Flash to flashings. yeah when it comes to the jump shot timing. What do you all think about yeah. it? Yeah, that's a conspiracy I, I, I heard, and I started thinking about it, it makes sense because I've seen it a lot because yeah. I've not seen nobody talk about Zen since the patch either. I yep. ain't seen nobody really say nobody was Zen since the patch. Yeah, this but, was leading right up to the patch that folks. Yeah, the, the Zen conversation yes. was heavy exactly. right up to the yeah. patch. Yeah. High. After the patch, the joint just cut off instantly. That's uh, true. Instantly, yeah. but I mm -hmm. heard he got something in the works, boy. Oof. <laughs> I did. <laughs> I did too, man. Them dudes be coming through in the comments, man. They tell you they be like, "Yo, yeah, they got us, but we'll be back. We'll be back with some." <laughs> they are arrogant with it, boy. I'm sure. Yeah. Trust me, they are arrogant. In, in fact, it got a new um animation glitch going around too. By the way, I yeah, saw that it. the crossover joint. They Tell could they could equip any move on any player. Yeah. Oh, I didn't hear that. Wow. Yeah. yeah. And my guy Yardman posted a vid on it. And mm -hmm. he sent me the info on it. Like, but he blocked oh, out no. the person name who did, of course. I don't want to be right. you know exposing anybody, even though they do let 2K figure that out, right? To be honest with you. Right. The glitches in the game, let it fix the glitch in the game. But yeah, this person was equipping like short player or small player moves on a six seven guard. Okay, so he had Steph Curry mm. moves in there, Steph Curry jump shot, stuff mm. that you can't get on the 6 7. He was getting. I need that. <laughs> I, saw, I saw most people in the 2K <laughs> communities think about that. No, my thing is, right, yeah. I'll, yeah. All right, I don't like that they're breaking the game. But I think 2K logic, which these six are off. I created a 6 9, right? Like a KD type build, because I have to go 6 9 to get some decent moves, by the way. That's why I, right. I can't go 6 mm. 10. And go, right. Yeah. And guess what? With my 6'9", with the shortest arms possible so I could get whatever, I can't even get Kevin Durant's size up or his 6. Any of his size up or 6. Mm. Makes no sense. Like, So mm. you can't even, with a 6'6", six, six, you can't get Michael Jordan moves on a 6'6". Six, six, mm. Yeah, that was crazy. Mm. Like... Who, who, like, who are the people that are making these decisions? No offense. I'm not trying to offend y'all. I'm just asking a serious question that they need to look right. at yourselves. Because mm. I've always felt like the move should be locked off by ball handling or what you put it on, and then the ball handling can be governed by your height or what have you. But the moves themselves, if you can get 90 ball handling on a 6'10", then you should be able to have whatever moves that you want because you made a big sacrifice to get that, right? Mm -hmm. But and it also should probably cost more to have that much ball handling on yeah. a 16. But mm -hmm. that's a that's that's a whole nother conversation. Yeah. But I've mm -hmm. always felt like the moves should be locked off by attributes, not height, not height gated. You know what I'm saying? Like you got like you got I got an 85 three ball mm -hmm. and I can't get like Shea Julius Alexander. And I'm pretty sure he's like six, I don't know how tall he is. What six five, six six, six seven? I don't know. Yeah. But I can't get that shot. I can't get it shot because, you know. And, and sometimes I try to cut 2K some flack because I think right. a lot of times the 2K community does it to themselves by the whining and complaining. Because 6 nines yes. was a problem they said last year. I don't think it was, right. to be honest with you. I, I think 6 think eights was, was way more overpowered more. last year. Right. Um, the community cries about everything. And then 2K, unfortunately, this is why I'm always cautious when people crying too much. Right, because two K don't kind of patch something or slightly nerf something, they take right. it out the game. <laughs> okay, right. they say, okay, okay, this is a problem. Kill them, kill six yeah. nine. Remove them from point guards. We should mm -hmm. not have any six nine point guards. We don't even care if there's a Ben Simmons in the league that's damn near six eleven and playing PG. Right. We don't care about none of that. We're just gonna take away six nine from PGs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like what's a very <laughs> off with the heads mentality? Yeah, it's a very off with the heads mentality. And then I, 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 like I said, that's why, like you said, I always say, I want to be careful. We got to be careful what we ask for. It's just like, like, this is how the two K community. They ask, hey, there's a lot of delay, a lot of lag in the game. They removed it. About seventy five percent of it is gone. Bro, now you got people real life calling for the lag to come back. Are y'all serious? Take that serious, man. Are you serious? 
Yeah, they, they like, yeah, we need that lag back. We need that legacy back. We, we want to no. go back to shooting. Let me, oh, ask, no, you, no, let no, me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Jump is going to be faster. But let me ask you a question, though. Do you mm. think because the lag was in the game, a lot of people adjusted to that lag and was able to be very consistent with shooting. Now that it's fixed, it threw off a lot of their timings, and that's why a lot of people are struggling right now. Probably was shooting off straight timing. They could have been shooting off straight timing and then, you know, not using the cue. And we kept, we've been telling people, even Mike said it on that last tweet, you got to use your visual cue now because we have explicit anti-cheat measures in the game. So you yeah. can't, you're not going to be able to shoot off timing anymore. You're going to have to shoot off cue. And, yeah. um, but CD just I mean, said that, that's that, why he shoot consistent. CD just says right. that. Right. Right. I shoot off cue. But, <laughs> so, um, so I mean, let me, mm, can I just add one thing oh, yeah, to pick back off what you said? Because especially after this last patch, 2K, the 2K community has a culture because this is the game we've had in front of us where we've been accustomed to shooting off muscle memory for years. Right. Yeah. So it's hard to flip the switch in, in a matter of two years. Uh, and, and we're still True. going through that learning curve. So, uh, for instance, like what I saw prior to the patch, it almost became muscle memory. But that was just because I was so locked in with my right. uh, visual cue. Yeah. But then after the patch, it was thrown off again. So I was like, damn, you know, one of the first things that I was saying was, yo, I can't even gauge my visual cue. That's what I was right. saying the two hours after the patch. I can't gauge the joint. So what I mean, what I'm trying to get at here is that even when you think you're there, you need to take it two more notches up is what I yeah. noticed after the patch. Take it, take your focus two more notches yes. up and you'll see that your visual cue ain't lying to you. Uh, no, no, it's there. Yeah, that's what I've noticed. I don't know if y'all would notice the same yeah. thing. Yeah, I'm a heavy so, visual mm -hmm. cue shooter. Mm -hmm. I've been pushing it for years. Yeah. <laughs> I've mm -hmm. been recommending it yeah. for years. Mm -hmm. And I think it's a very hard concept for people to grasp right now because they've been doing something for so many years that it's very difficult to just make a quick switch. But mm -hmm. even last year, that I was pushing while everybody was complaining about the variable shot timing. I was like, yo, right. it's, um, it's way simpler than you all think. You just mm. got to look at your animations. You'll be all right. I was, you could actually, I've never been a yep. consistent shooter or even care to be. And mm. That's the main thing. I never cared to be, right? But last right. year, I was lights out easily. Mm. Easily, just yep. because I understood how shooting was. Okay. Yeah. So, you know, to add to that, it's like... We we agree. I know everyone's in agreement here that 2K has those anti cheat measures, and yeah. that maybe especially right. after this last patch, there's more aggressive uh, fluctuations in your shot. Yeah. But just because you're receiving those fluctuations doesn't mean that your animation changed in regards to your release and where mm -hmm. you're going to release it at. So right. if you're going to get a faster shot, and this has happened to me online where naturally I hit and like I pressed the button and released super quick because the defender was in proximity. Yeah. Right, but my, yeah. my animation kind of told me when to release. Yeah. So whether it was faster right. or slower, my animation is telling me the mm -hmm. point at, of release. So right. I know it's a hard thing, a hard pill to swallow, but give it a shot. Try to pay closer attention to your cues, yeah? Yeah. yeah. One thing I have noticed too is mm -hmm. like, uh, I know that they said the time and stability, the time and stability is the biggest thing to hitting contested shots. And I started thinking the other day, there's also this thing in the game called defensive immunity. So how is defensive, how is time, you know, time and stability is going to make you shoot better, but defensive immunity, like, like what, what would it do if time and stability is, long story short, long story short, I found that, I feel like I found this morning that your defensive immunity keeps your shot from changing more than that's time and stability. Because I was shooting with the mm. shot that Brute, when me and Brute were shooting with the shot, what's that shot? It mm. had like a C minus. It's got like a C minus, but it's got an A. If you it's got an A. If you yeah. think about it, that makes sense because now if your defensive um, immunity is high, that means mm -hmm. if someone contests your shot, then it, it goes, less. then it's going to move over to the time and stability. It change I less. Because if right. you have defensive exactly. immunity, that probably means it affects your less shot contested. less. Correct. Correct. So now that so makes sense if you yeah. really think about it. Yeah, because I've been shooting with that. I've been shooting with the base that I've been shooting with, and it's got like a very high A uh, yeah. defensive immunity. And like you remember the the shots. I think Caldwell Pope it don't have that much defensive immunity. It's like a B or yeah, C yeah, or yeah. something. I was like, dang, I can't hit a contested shot. Everybody yeah. else hitting them. And then I switched to this one, and it's like, yo, it doesn't. 
it doesn't matter if you're there you ain't there 10 percent, 30 percent. i don't care yeah. i'm just shooting the basketball interesting so yeah 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 well, that makes okay. sense. I'm now starting to think about that, man. You gonna get me going yeah. back in the lab? I yeah, defensive sports. immunity might, but defensive immunity didn't matter at all last year. It yeah. seemed like, but this mm -hmm. year it seems like it matters a lot more than we, than you know, than we thought it did. Yeah. Well, what's the rumor? The rumor is that they're saying time and stability is more focused for smaller guards that are running the one. Uh, and if you're a spot up shooter, you could go without it. At least that's oh, what Freddie, yeah. Okay, but, so that makes perfect yeah. sense then. Mm -hmm. If you're yeah. a spot-up shooter, you, you don't even need to focus on because your your stamina bar is always going to be max when you're right. shooting. Yeah, so, yeah. And that's and I noticed that's offline, true. playing offline, that even if I go, like, say, I lose a quarter of my stamina bar, it throws off it my throws timing off. on the it shot right. way it off. off. Yeah, you really got to focus on that yeah. cue. Uh, it's a slower jump, a slow, at least it feels, everything yeah. feels a lot slower. Yeah, uh, right. So... Take it as a, a point guard that plays without Gatorade. I experience it on a regular basis, which is why I have to mm. pay so much close attention to my animation. Okay, mm. because I know I, by the time I dribble a few times, my energy, yeah. So I got to be mm -hmm. able to identify if it's coming up slower or faster. Yeah. And it's not as much as last year for sure. I could tell you that. Last year, mm, yeah. It was, yeah, it was way worse. All right. But um, 2K dropped a patch this morning. And it seemed like they have a schedule that they're going to they're keep rolling out certain small yeah, patches so. as well, man. Um, they address some of the issues, uh, some of them. Mines is going to be fixed eventually, which is the palm trees. What do you all think about them rolling out this? Yesterday, so they said this, they're going to fix it during the week, yeah, right? The palm yeah. trees. They'll be, they'll be during the weekend, yeah. over the weekend. Yeah, okay. yeah, so what do you all think about 2K week. pretty much responding this fast with a fix? I, I personally, I feel like it shouldn't happen in the first place, so especially with a problem that we've already had for years now. I yeah. remember when we had the Pro-Am 3v3 joints, the camera angle was messed up way back when, 2K20, 2K19. Mm -hmm. uh, these are things that we should know. Like, come on, two, over two decades of experience with this stuff. I understand there's a ton of coding, and I promise that I will cut the 2K dev team some slack and consider this being slack. <laughs> cut for you guys because i would go more aggressively uh you yeah. guys should know better by now that you know you, i know we had a huge patch that we had to take care of but things like camera angles folks adjusting their camera angle and having palm trees obscure the yeah. whole court that's like a rookie mistake in my opinion it feels like like that would be a rookie mistake but mm -hmm. i don't know what you guys think now, now, my buddy, as far as the updates and how quickly they did, my buddy was telling me, so he's a dev, but he's not not for 2K, but he's a developer. He has, he's over like a, a developer team or what have you. Yeah. He develops applications for like banks and stuff like that. And so what he was saying is a lot of times they do have a schedule that they roll these things out. But let's say if they have a back-to-back -back update like this, they take the low-hanging fruit first or the easy fixes first. They go ahead and knock those out with the back, the, you know, with the second update. So if they put something yeah. out, and there's a lot of things that it that it caused. If it's nothing too serious, or it's nothing game breaking, or doesn't doesn't uh, not a security risk or anything, they take the things that are easiest to fix first. So in this case, the palm trees, the you know the little things like that that um, yeah, the badge that they had with the yeah the badge stuff. deal yeah right right right. It's just stuff that that was probably easy enough to just you know we can just fix that real quick, and we have another update window right here, so we just drop it in there. Because the way that it goes, from what I understand, they have windows when they can mm. do these things and disrupt the game or what have you. It's not just like they can just drop one when they can. And mm. it's, it's similar in networking with what we do. When we fix something on the network, we got certain windows that we can do it. Like this weekend, I got to go because yeah. we got a window this weekend. So I have to go out mm. there and do some stuff. All right. Fair mm. enough. One thing I noticed, though, that really troubled me, that's what I was upset about, right? Um... The devs went quiet after the patch. While the community mm -hmm. was upset and annoyed, they were really, really quiet. And I will say this, though. That is a completely wrong approach. Because mm -hmm. they've been pretty active, and we loved it. Even through yeah. all the chaos, they've been, all the stuff, people, they've been active saying, yo, we're working on this, working on that. And I think that's the best approach at the end of the day. Like, right. something as simple as... Yo, we see what y'all talking about. We're working on fixing it as soon as possible. We'll go really, really far. Okay. Right. All right. And I gotta give them props. This they've been doing a very good job, except 
after that last big patch. And yeah, that right. was really, I ain't gonna front, I was really kind of like, yeah, really, y'all guys out here feeling like we speaking to nobody. <laughs> yeah, you know, one of the things that, that kind of led us to believe that this was going to be a really good year was how active they were prior to release. We was like, man, right. they, they out there, they're in Twitter spaces, so they yeah. must be standing on this. They're ready yeah, to drop some dope. So when, yeah, they confident. So after the patch, when everything goes quiet and then folks are having major issues, like be- your badge is getting reset in the yeah. rec center, we're right. like, well, where are y'all hiding that? How are we hearing crickets right now? This yeah. is where y'all should be coming out. And it, you guys, in my opinion, the dev team should be posing the question, something along the lines of anything need fixing? Just pull, put it right. out there. Yeah, uh, yeah, how's yeah. the patch going? You know, doing check-ins yes, with the community yes, to say, big. Right. You know what I mean? So I think it. I think they've done a great job uh, as well. We've never had this level of communication from the dev team, right. this level of connection. So I, I definitely commend them as well. But even still, don't drop the ball. Keep yeah. the joint going. This should, I, I, this I've been preaching that they're somebody, turning a new leaf. They mm-hmm. should have somebody that's designated to ask you would those think. questions. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like a community, like a community manager mm-hmm. or something like that. Yeah. There's somebody just, let's name just him. Let's question. name him Ronald. Maybe we should name him Ronald. That's his job. I thought he's a celebrity yeah, com- community manager. I think he's a celebrity manager. community manager. You don't mess with peasants. Mm. We all peasants. You don't mess with peasants. Oh, okay. You ain't no superstars, bro. You see, man, you see the NBA players and them shaking his hands, man. Celebrity games, man. Y'all beyond, man. Y'all below uh, or beneath. Hey, Ronald in two K, man. Right. Okay, we talking okay. about we how dare you even utter the words. Of mixed with the peasants. Yeah. Okay, okay. So, uh, so maybe we'll maybe we should okay. go with somebody like uh okay, well then I don't know who it is. Is it I like Zach, maybe, man? I like yeah, Zach. Yeah, Zach Zach doing his thing. LD mm-hmm. always doing his thing. LD for right. sure. Always doing his thing. Wolf been really yeah. active as well, too. Mm-hmm. Wolf has been it's very active, wolf. I will yeah. say that. Yeah, so they got yeah, a few people who've been doing great, but I just don't like the silence after the last patch, man. Mm-hmm. I don't like yeah. it like they just all right, we hear them talking. We're not gonna say anything. No, you can't do that. You can't. Just one yeah. statement. That's all. That's all you need. Now you ain't gotta be a back and forth. We know they're always gonna be some. We know they'll always be negative Nancy's in there. Okay. No right. matter what you do, they're waiting to say the game is trash. All right, we get it. We get it. The game is right. trash. We get that. Stop playing. So let's be people who think the game is decent enjoy. We get it. Okay. If right. I don't like to mix with trash. If trash is there, I move on, right? If I think something is trash, I don't play it. I move on. Case closed, mm-hmm. class dismissed. I ain't got to ask you if you like it or not to make me feel better about myself. Okay. Much like Shield Shooter. I can't get through on that game. <laughs> oh, hell no. That shit's hella trash. Just, I'm sorry. Just won't play and guess it. what? Just you could keep play playing it all the time. But guess what? Yeah. Guess what you're going to find out my, my opinion anytime you ask me. You want to play this? <laughs> nope. Hell no. None of that Shield Shooter shit. All right. You're talking about Apex, right? That no Apex Legends. Yeah. We no. We call it Shield Shooter Simulator because all you do is shooting shield, Hell yeah. shields. Hell yeah. I ain't got no time for that. Mm. You, you take yeah. forever to kill somebody. So I mm. like the game. Hey, Brute don't like the game. It is what it is. But that's one of my top ten games. Top five right wow. now. Hang on. Maybe wow. top two. Yeah. Yeah, I said it. Yeah. <laughs> top two. I like shooting shields. You sure yeah, you don't drink you like- or smoke? Did you recently start drinking or smoking, Jay? <laughs> I know your ass though. Did you recently hey, start drinking or smoking or something? What? 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 Hey man, I like shooting shields, man. I ain't say you like it. I said I like it. But, hey, it's, it's all good. Right, man. I, you need to go out. Something. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> shit, hella trash. Anyways, all right. To close off, right. I need y'all because I asked y'all this the first episode. Mm. How would y'all rate NBA 2K24? And y'all, pretty decent, pretty nice. Uh, no, actually, y'all were pretty harsh. <laughs> well, my memory, right? That was 2K. Well, hold on. Did we rate 2K24? Yes, we did. Yeah, first at the beginning. Yeah. Yes, we did. We did. We did. We did. Yeah. We did. Just, you right. know, it was a preliminary rating. Just yeah, yeah, yeah. It wasn't much. We didn't have much experience here. That's why a month after, right? How would y'all rate NBA 2K24 with all the chaos, with all the goods, the bads, the uglies? I want to start with Jay right now. First of all, I want to start with Jay. I'm going to still give it a six. I'm going to still give it a six. Six? And and like I said, yeah, they they can still still improve, but I'm going to still give it a six, man. I think I gave it a six the first time. 
Uh, I'll give it a six again just because I feel like there's a lot of room for improvement. And I'm not gonna kill the score because of that, but I do, I do feel like I mean I'm not gonna I wasn't gonna go no lower a than six. You know I, well, why I, I a don't, six I don't though? Think it's, why a six? I don't, I don't think it's worse than what it was, but it's definitely not better. Wait, wait, all right, let me dive in. How do you rate the gameplay? The gameplay? Well, gameplay is up there. I think the gameplay is probably top tier if you actually if we're looking at just the gameplay itself, but the things surrounding the gameplay. The all right, that's the next thing I was asking. Enough. So why you brought it back down to a six now since the gameplay is top tier? <laughs> because of the, the things around it, like they got to clean up some stuff. There's work to be done. Once we get this these things cleaned up, I think we're gonna. It'll be. I'll be up. I'll be up a I little dev. bit more. But right now, imagine I'm things. a dev. Okay, I'm right. a dev. Jay, right. what can we do to bring this up to a nine mm. or ten? Mm. What can we do to bring it up to a nine? Or a yes. Ten? Can How you tell me? Oh, I have a problem, right? And you're a married right. man. You're a married man. By right. now, you're supposed to know. Don't go to a woman and say this without any solution to help the situation. So I'm telling right. you. Cause that's what I'm saying. You tell me I have a problem. Okay, so what can I do to, you know, help this whole situation? What can we do to help this whole situation? Yes. Um, For me, honestly, mm -hmm. just little stability stuff. So, like, when I play somebody in starting, first of all, starting five was the best game. Now it's the sweatiest game mode. Like that's that's just crazy. You should be able to go in there. Guess who fault that is? Yeah, no, they they put they no they did it. They put classic teams in there. So instead of me playing against, you know, instead of me playing with LeBron, Louis Hachimura, uh, no, but that's you know, your fault. Know. You know why? Because they, they just they just Elgin, no, because and, they just put that out there first. They didn't know it would have been a popular mode. But then y'all yeah, went on cool. social media and said, "Oh, it's such a great mode. Just fix this." 2K don't just fix anything. <laughs> okay. They got to put a little That's something true. extra on it. <laughs> okay. But, but speaking of which, but when you beat somebody in there, if they quit or what have they, they quit on you and you'll still get banned. Things like that, mm -hmm. you know, the, you know, that, that shouldn't be happening life. anymore. Yeah. The animation life. glitch that we got. You know, it's just so many little things that we've seen in previous 2K, the steals not being balanced the way that they were toward the end of last. I, I really don't care about the steals, really, but these is it's just things that we've seen them in previous two Ks. That should be because you benefit from it, but continue on. No, I'm, I'm like I said, I'm I, 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 locked down I, Jay Easy. I do, I do benefit from it, but I can recognize that <laughs> mm -hmm. that some tweaking that is room for tweaking. I ain't gonna say tweaking needs to be done. I'm gonna say that there is room <laughs> to tweak them. I recognize that there's room to do that. And, as you know, as like he I run say, up and say, I got it, Brute. <laughs> Blitz. <Yeah. laughs> Max, right? Hey, that's my joint, man. Max. But, but you know that. Uh -huh. that and then, then you got, the, like I said, legacy issues. Like the dude throws a post hook. I block him. I, I jump at him, block him out. I'm closer to the rim. And yeah. the guy that took the shot gets the offensive. You know, just little yeah, legacy Max. issues that make their way through. And this, is, this, is, this is a conversation I had in my last video, right? This post right. hook thing, right? But what mm. if... The person that threw the post hook mm -hmm. is one of the better rebounders by far compared to a little old you trying to block it. Oh, man, that's tough. Should he be that's rewarded tough. because his be, attributes... But, I mean, I've had 99 rebounds and then they still get it. So, like... I know. I we, know. we know in past 2Ks it still be happening. We're not talking about past 2Ks. It like 2Ks. a recovery issue. Like, the person who's defending yeah. goes into recovery, but the offensive player has no recovery. They just right. instantly, you know, hit the ground. Running. All right. As uh, someone who have a center that. here mm. that is built for rebounding and defense right. with barely on the offense, no. Mm. Okay. So, I get that. This is why, I'm you know, this is, this why I keep making that argument, right? Because right. I have a center that's pretty much built like a Dennis Rodman build. <laughs> okay. Mm. I'm telling you, I could play defense, contest all the shots on my recovery because I got Hall of Fame Pogo. I land down really fast so I could recover. But that's a six nine, right? Yes, he got a six yeah. nine. Yeah, yeah. That's, exactly. I think I think it has something to do with the height as well. well if we go with the, yeah, if we go with the height rebounding and stuff like that, yeah. then you might. Be, so that's what I'm saying. It could be, be a, a a situation where the build is just not. I understand. So that's my argument. If he's a superior rebound. Exactly. So yeah, if that's the case. Then I can see that. And then we can say you about know what I'm saying? So yeah. I keep yeah, all things being equal. You know, a lot of people trying to finesse that center build. They a lot of people they going are. with the 90, 92. Yes, a lot of centers yeah. out there 
Mm-hmm. A lot of bills out there are not, you know, they're not created right because people are trying to move yeah. as much attributes and do as too much stuff mm-hmm. instead of being specialized bills. Yeah. You know I, what I'm saying? I can dig it. So people kill my bill all the time. Oh, I'm going to expose this bill because I could shoot. All right, you go. I love centers that try to score me because then it puts what my bill was created for into action more often than not. Now I'm mm-hmm. for now you force me to play defense, you force me to pull rebounds and stuff like that, right? Okay. Mm-hmm. So Jay, you you stand on that six? I'm standing on the six for right now. They can make it better. They got they got a few things that need to be ironed out. The road is a little bumpier, but it's smoother than it was before. All and right. I wheels. I, you know what? You know what? I'm gonna give them a six. Uh, hold on. Damn on it. Yeah. Man. Come on, you thought you say it was ru- it was worse. It now was, it's a little it smoother, which means you can't get in the same smoother. rating. I'm just saying. I mean, listen, man. If you ask me, it's up there. It's probably an eight. I ain't going to lie. But from a <laughs> community standpoint. I'm not going to commute y'all. I'm CJ Easy. You see, I'm CJ Easy. I ain't none of the problems that y'all having. I'm still shooting. <laughs> <There it is. laughs> this is what I'm trying to bring out, city. City. This is what I'm trying to bring out, city. I'm hitting them. I was digging, city. Yeah, I'm not, I don't want this fully. Yes, that yes. Yes. they have, and so I'm yes. gonna give it a yeah. seven and a half. I'm this is what a I'm half, trying to bring out. City. More, the game after the patch, the game is more responsive. <laughs> My steals are still there. You run by me. Give me that. I'm taking. <laughs> I'm taking the ball. I'm taking Let's all the go. balls. Let's all go. Let's go. There it is. You Let's guys go. The pause moment. Let's, you got the pause moment. Let's go. He's taking all the balls. Just so you know. Not like that. I'm talking about that, basketball. I just man. had to. I just had to make sure you know that the pause I'm, moment for this 2K crossover was fully established. Uh, Jay, you want to take all the balls, Jay? All the balls. I'm stealing all, all the balls. balls. Wow. I'm stealing all, I'm stealing all the balls. You said a little aggressive too, man. A little aggressive too. I ain't gonna lie. You're taking these balls too I'm aggressive. All the balls. <laughs> all I'm stealing everything. And he did. And this is how this year he's taking all the balls, Jay. <laughs> I can't stand y'all. Oh, oh man, but I'm I'm still, gotta love getting, it. my steals are still there. I'm shooting the piss out of the basketball. Yeah. I'm hitting shots in people's face. I'm hitting contested shots. I'm hitting. Boy, I got two games this morning. I shot hundred percent. Every shot was contested. The mm. check is working. Like everything. To, to me, the game is a really good game. I'm loving the game. I'm enjoying it. Right. And I keep saying, I keep trying to be relatable, I guess, or be right. considerate of the, the issues mm-hmm. that everybody... Mm-hmm. But I'm going to be honest with y'all. Y'all didn't give a f- about me when I was struggling. So I don't <laughs> care about y'all. I'm having a great I'm time on this game. I love it. Thank you very much. Is. This is what I was... Is. City, you see, city, you see why I was digging, City? I was yeah, trying to get my boy to come out, man. I was like, what? I'm going to get it. I mean, you got to, man. Yeah. And there's going to be millions I, of people just like that. I feel I, the same exact way. Damn right. Yeah, for for everybody that dislikes their experience so far in 2K, yes. there's going to be another two that really love and it. And it's okay. Is, yeah. yeah. That's what opinion is about, man. It's about random. your in- every time, opinion. Every time mm-hmm. y'all ask me, what, what am I doing? I'm, a, I'm in the house of randoms. <laughs> with ra- I, who played it? If I didn't like the game, how am I playing this much with randoms? Yeah. yeah and cruising my record. And I still that's don't bad. care. I'm still 70, about 75% with randoms, still nice. winning. 75%, mm-hmm. or maybe it's 72 right, after this morning because we went on like a 10 game skid. But that ain't the point. The point is, everything for me is working. I'm trying to be considered to everybody else, right. but I'm cool with it, man. I'm, I'm enjoying <laughs> the game a lot. All right. A lot. Thank you very much. That's all I needed, man. So what? Seven or eight? Seven point five or eight? I'm going to give it a 7.6925. <laughs> That's what I'm going to give it. Seven point six. Wronged up, wronged up, wronged up to eight. All right. Wronged up to eight. Give it, give it eight. I'm having fun, wronged up man. Eight. I'm having on this game three nights this week to 3 a.m. If I ain't like the game, why am I on the game to 3 a.m. three Ooh, nights this week? Oh, my week? God. All right. City. Hey. The guy who is no... BC, he got a different perspective from all of us. How would you yeah. rate NBA 2K24, man? You know, it, it's like I thought I was going to have a different experience, yeah. Mm-hmm. I thought I wasn't going to have fun this year, period. Especially coming off last year, I said this would be like the last show. If I go, nobody spent. They're definitely going to throw me right over the edge and, you know, just get rid of 2K and, and, and ho. But uh, it's not the case, man. And I sympathize with you guys and your struggles out there, but... 
I'm not going to sacrifice my own enjoyment for your struggle. It's not going down. So I right. will, if I had to rate the game, if I had to like rate mm-hmm. the game, I've already mentioned this. And I, you know, yeah. I, for me, it's going down as one of the best two Ks of all time, top five for me. Uh, this is just facts for me, man. Strong. I can only, I, again, I may be having a very different experience than y'all because Strong. I'm going no money spent. But when people hear no money spent, I know when I heard no money spent yeah. in previous years, I start to feel bad for the dude. Like, oh, yeah, man, that must be hell. <laughs> right? Right? And, and that's that a fact? I, yeah, 100%. Oh, man, that must be hell. I feel sorry for you, bro. Mm-hmm. You going, no, you ain't never playing with me no money spent. You, ain't never <laughs> facts. Playing, you feel me? Quite the contrary. This year, if I had to rate the game, it's going eight or even nine. All right, let me I be devil's are... advocate for a little bit because mm-hmm. I, when I see mm-hmm. opportunity, I got to do it. You mm-hmm. think your experience is a little bit different because of the influence you have and the people you could have around you while your build is, you know, progressing or getting better over time. Thank you. So so this challenge, because I get it. If I was playing with randoms, I'd have a very different experience out here. Yeah. But right. the reason why I went no money spent is if I could play the same way with the same people yeah. with no boost, no Gatorade. Mm-hmm. Do you okay, get what I'm saying okay. to say? So okay. I do want to clarify that. Like, I, I'm thinking, I understand that I run with a good team. They get yeah. my back, I get their back. But right. if I'm limited out there, yeah. I won't be able to get their back as right. well. That's what's supposed right. to happen is what I was thinking was going to happen. That in all should fairness, have been a change. In all mm-hmm. fairness, if you're building that ready, I suggest you all stay in my career anyways, to be mm-hmm. honest. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right. Mm-hmm. Right. Unless you've got people that mm-hmm. you know who yeah. agree, like, okay, we're going to play with that type of, but we understand your weakness or your players mm-hmm. are certain. Do not go and stress people out anyways. But anyway, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. So, again, if I had to rate it top, Got to be top five for me as Ooh. of right now. There are I, I'm not being naive here. I understand there are some quality of life issues that need adjusting, right. mm-hmm. but totally. that's where that one to two points difference will make up for that. Yeah. Putting it at a ten for me, yeah. just my experience and being as honest as possible. Hopefully, you guys out there are having just as much fun as I am. One of the criteria for determining how good this two K was was going to be how often I stayed on this game. Mm-hmm. The fact that I'm right. losing track of time, staying, I'm, you know what? I've been spending this year just trying to restructure my sleep schedule because mm. I've been staying up so late and then getting up early to make content. Wow. And and that's been my day to day going yeah, out yeah, there yeah. playing and I'm reluctant to get off the game because I'm having so much fun. These are just yeah. absolute facts. No 2K did not buy my soul. And the only way that they, <laughs> you can't justify that. Not for not one bit could you justify 2K buying my soul when I'm telling you guys I'm playing no boost and telling you guys save your money. I ain't gonna lie, CD. I see some mm. upgrades in your background and stuff, man. <laughs> <laughs> 2K pay good, man. What's going on? That baggy. What's that going? bag is oh, kicking man. in. The bag, man. The bag. <laughs> you know they're gonna tell you that, man. I already know. You already, already know. know. All right. Mm-hmm. Um, for me, I, I was a little harsh the last time with my rating. I ain't gonna lie. I, w- I remember I was harsh, and I think it was rightfully so. Um, mm-hmm. But now, I say, what I said like five the last time. I kept going down until I stopped only around five or something. Yeah, he's not stopping like yet. Four, hey, wait for four, it. Four, five, maybe. He said two and a half. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was bad. It was bad. It was bad. But I have to give 2K props. Now, the last patch with the chaos and all this stuff. All right, cool. I understand that. But overall, yep. my experience has been pretty good. Now, I'm a casual. I mean, I'm not a comp player. Now, comp players clearly have a difference in opinions because mm, I've right. seen all the people in the comp community. When I'm talking about my experience, someone who runs around and goes solo wreck willingly. And right. when I'm not in solo wreck, I play with my stream. That's what I do. Okay. So I'm casual, a wreck warrior to the cross. My park experience is very limited. Um, yeah, and I'm having a lot of fun with this game. Because I try to play with as little boost as possible. I put on shooting boost sometimes, not all the time. Um, I get a lot of them from the events more often than not, which is good. Um, and my experience has been pretty good. 
Now, a lot of the delay that a lot of people been experiencing, I have not experienced any. My biggest right. issue so far was when they add those palm trees. Now, if they didn't drop that patch and I didn't know that fix was coming and we had this conversation now, I would have dropped like three different, like three extra points off of that rating from the angle to you because that was just so irritating to me, right? But mm. I will right now give it a 7.5. Okay. I'll give it that right now. All right. Um, in terms of improvements, stability issues. I try mm. to get into the street course mo- and my game crash multiple times. Mm. Um, I know it shut a few consoles off for some people and stuff like that. Like, of course I'm enjoying it, but still, I know a lot of people that I play like in close proximity. Like even like getting someone from PlayStation to join me, it's problems. Right. Mm. Like it so, takes a while sometimes. to get people like that. That you know what I mean? Those type of stuff they gotta iron out. And I know they know it's going on and working on it and whatever, whatever, but still I'm experiencing it. All right. So I, mm. you know, so yeah. So I will give them a 7.5, which is a huge improvement, I think, <laughs> from my last assessment. Um, again, shooting problems, I'm not having it. So um, I think we gave great advice about how to improve your shooting because I think all of us yeah. use that. Pay attention to your animation instead of go off a of feel. Even Mike Wayne came out and say that, like, this is yeah. what we did to battle the Zens. Because we know a lot of people went and bought Zens. Even Chuck showed that he got the Zen and the Titan too. Okay. Okay. And trust me, they ain't they ain't playing. At some point, I think the devs need to have the conversation is if they're gonna continue to um make the game harder for us to battle them. Or are they gonna actually do their job and invest in some good anti cheat to ban people? like other games do. So at mm. some point, they're going to have to have that conversation. It might just be a simple fix of, let's switch up the jump shot timing. It's going to get worse. Mm. And in fact, I know it's getting worse, whereas they don't need to look at a shooting bar no more and it tells the cue from just a regular jump shot. It's getting worse. Mm. Trust me. And it's really close too. So they're going to have to have the conversation. But for now, seven point something, I'm a casual player and I'm having fun as a casual player, bro. All right. So yeah, right. I, th- I I definitely have to preface mine with that too. I'm the ultimate random king <laughs> of the randoms, as as they might say. Like ninety percent of the, my games are in the house of randoms. Like that's <laughs> it. So I could be having a very different experience than everybody else. Sure. And all yeah. a lot of the shots I, are my catch and shoot shots. And so I mean, you you just pass the ball and I'm wide open. and I just take the shots. It could mm-hmm. be very different. My experience could be very different, but. Uh, just yeah. want to just want to say that, but I do feel you guys is pain that are getting ripped every possession mm. and and all of that. I gonna, you know, I know from you. I will say this though: after the last patch, <laughs> I think they might have buffed steals a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> they definitely did. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> they definitely did. <laughs> I think it's supposed to calling for a buff to unpluckable. Conspiracy <laughs> brute is in the building. I think the devs want to nurse steals. But they don't want to just nerf it right now when most of the community still wants it. So they give so it they a little to, buff oh. so it could irritate enough people so they could get enough of an outcry so it could be justified when they nerf and it. And then, then they're going to overdo the joint. Yo, this is a conspiracy. I'm telling you. Right. This is a conspiracy. OD right, this is a OD right now, bro. This is a conspiracy, <laughs> bro. I ain't going to front. I go out there and I'm like, damn. But because I like when people spam me, because it, it's easy because I see the angle. You just so run around them. I yeah. run around there easily. But I've seen how effective and it has been. I don't know if it's by on purpose, giving them the. But <laughs> it's. You, you think, feel like you they're doing the more. Amazon. You think they're doing the Amazon fire sale thing where they buff steals, and then so when they put them back to oh. where they were, it seems like they the nerfed them, but mm. they just they buffed them, and so now when they Ooh. tone them back to how it was on lunch, it's back to it's the like, beginning. Yeah, they like they like y'all thought they bad. We can show you how <laughs> bad it can get. <laughs> now, now this is bad. Now this is a whole conspiracy section. <laughs> this is not factor. This is all conspiracies. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Speculation. Yeah. Yo, yeah. But yeah, mm. it's about because I'll play on like that. Okay. Okay. Ask Jay. He was there uh, yeah. first time we went well, out had, after. The dudes oh. had five, six, eights Damn. with all had 91 steel in there. Damn. They were just spamming, bro. Yeah, spam. It was mm. crazy. I got seven turnovers Oof. that game. Now we won by far, of course. Thirty, yeah, we just eventually. Them I was like, 30, okay, let's. Fast ball. I like this yeah. feels okay, cool. Now I know y'all can't right stick up the lane, so I'm passing the rock. Mm-hmm. So I'm Thank calling you. people cuts and stuff, and then we start exposing them. But yeah, but uh, that's the difference maker, bro. Yeah, a lot of people don't. A lot of guards don't like to do that. They want to be able to yeah. dribble in front and do that. That's the thing. It's like, saying? come on, man. That's why I see too many. Too many point guards are able to make too many mistakes. And I hate yeah. the idea. We finally got a game with defense in it, where if you're a point guard and you're making those mistakes, dribbling into a 99 steal, yes. you should get the ball stolen from you. Stop the nonsense. Second you cross over twice in front of that defender, that ball should come out your hands. That's my thoughts. <laughs> Pass the rock, bro, because a higher IQ point guard like Brute We'll see that the defense is broken because the homie's reaching nonstop. Bam! Past the rock. Two, I, three, I feel like three, someone eight. just threw me into their fight. <laughs> we'll just, we'll just run right around him and get on the rim. Bro, we'll run right around him and get on the rim. Elaborate like, right now. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like someone did. Someone just pick a fight and just throw me in the middle. Of the uh, yeah, because they're gonna go at my head for saying that. They're like, bro, don't know what you're bro about, don't play so no comp. Don't point guard. Bro, don't play no comp. He don't want uh, to go to. Yeah. I already see it. Don't, don't kill me. I said nothing there. I said nothing there. <laughs> Brew had asked me to mention that prior to us starting this whole thing. I could bring it up and play devil's advocate. So that's oh, man. <laughs> but yeah, man, I'm having fun, man. I'm having fun. Uh, I ain't going to lie to y'all. I, I'm yeah, sorry, yeah. y'all. I'm, I'll be seeing y'all in the comments, man. And I'm like, all right. All right. But I'm still having fun, man. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. <laughs> you know, when you're having a miserable time, like you say yeah. you had a water park and you just down and out, and you see somebody going down the water slide, Ooh, super happy, happy, smiling, cheesing. Nah, I'm upset. I'm mad at that person, bro. Yeah, you feel what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm like, what? that's what the type of heat we got to deal with. You feel what I'm yeah. saying? When like, we say this stuff, so and happy, I'm completely bro. aware of it. Why is he so yeah. happy? But anyways, yeah, why man. Why is he so happy? Yeah, yes. man. So anyways, that's all we got for y'all, man. <laughs> a indeed. next good indeed. one in the books. Mm-hmm. Legendary. Now, I want yeah. y'all feedback in the comment section. And follow my guys, man. Y'all see the name tags mm-hmm. right there. Y'all know what? Just type it in the search. Y'all going to find them. J and all mm-hmm. city, of course. Yes, um, y'all got some closing remarks, y'all? Start with J. Mm-hmm. If you're a person that's having as much fun as we are with the game, don't let the, the uh, vocal minority influence your decision. If you're having fun, let us know down in the comment section. Say you're having fun. I don't know what these guys are talking about. There are some issues that need to be addressed. I will admit it, but still, it's not inhibiting my fun. And so, yeah. this is a safe space for you all. Don't Facts. don't worry about these guys on Twitter and all that. If you're having fun, you're having fun. All right, now, all that Jay, how much did Two K pay for that ad? For some, <laughs> how much? I find, hey, I find your hey, hair look like you got a little bit more. You know, expensive I, I, I stuff in it, me. man. I ain't gonna lie to you. It was a little ghetto a while <laughs> little ago. Little it was a little luxurious. ghetto, and all of a sudden, it now lean over to luxurious ish. You understand? <laughs> Look like you're making more money. That's all I'm saying. I, I'm just, okay. Oh my all right. god. I see it with the new upgraded background. With <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we all got paid. We all got the bag. Uh, but neither one of us, neither one of us, got a big enough bag to get a new house, brute. Um, exactly. Only uh, one of Bruce? us got a brand new house paid for Bruce, cash. Can't tell, tell cash. That, bro. <laughs> cash. Yeah. Ah, oh, man. Uh, I, you know, to piggyback off of what, what Jay-Z said. No, nah, um, you can't just do that to me. You know, just because we're talking. having fun doesn't mean that we're not going to speak on topics that are concerning to you guys. That's, that's right. what we right. do. We speak on the topics that are concerning to you guys, whether we're going through it or not. Uh in previous years where I wasn't having nearly as much fun, I still spoke about good things that were going on in the community and how 2K gameplay was. And I spoke about the things that frustrated me. This year, there's probably going to be less uh, videos talking about the things that are frustrating me because I'm having a little bit more fun. But if it's um, a problem within the community, best believe we finna keep it covered. Uh, Appreciate y'all tuning in, man. You already know All City 2K crossover. Done no man. Great one, man. Appreciate y'all, man. Y'all know what it is. Subscribe and have a blessed one. Be safe out there, y'all. Peace. Easy, yeah.